Mitch and Janie Pendleton. We're back for this week's kitchen tip. Actually, it's more of a garden tip. I'm going to teach you how to save cucumber seeds. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to let a cucumber, well, you let this one right here just grow till it's yellow and the seeds are extra large in it. Now, we're just going to take this, and there's no, there's no reason to cut off the ends. We're just going to take and we're going to half it, just like that right there. Well, that wasn't a very good half, so I'll go ahead and half that again like that right there. You're going to take a spoon and we're going to dish the seeds out inside of a nice fine strainer here. So here's where most of the seeds were in this one, right over here. So we'll, we'll get those out. But I want to show you this. The seeds, I don't know if I can get my hands on one. The seeds have a coating on them and we need to get that coating off of there. Now you can take and you can kind of squeeze that coating off. You can see the little tail here on the seed. That's fine. That's just the little root here where it was connected to the, um, you know, into the membrane itself. That's fine. But what we want to do is we want to get that slippery coating off, that coating that keeps it from germinating, from germinating inside of itself. So what we want to do is we want to put these seeds through a strainer and separate them. Get them all out just like this. Now this one didn't have as many seeds in it. Had a few, but not a whole lot. There they are, right there some. And that's just the way it is. Some will have more seeds than others. Get rid of as much of this um, cucumber part as possible. Try to get as much seeds in there as possible. I'm really surprised. My other cucumber that I just did had a ton of seeds in it. I mean, look at all the seeds I got out of that last one. That's why you got to let them grow and get a little bit bigger. Yeah, there's not hardly any seeds in there that are big enough to even... Let's see what we've got here and here. Nope. That's, that's surprising. Didn't have a lot of seeds in this one. Okay, now we're just going to save this. I can put that in like one of my um, one of my drinks. You can go ahead and process that and make that into a um, into a juice, some sort of a juice, like you can put it to your juicer. Now this didn't have a lot of seeds, but what we're going to do now is we're just going to run this under cold water, and we're just going to kind of press these in, just like this. And get as much of that membrane and as much of that, um, that slippery stuff off here as possible. Get rid of any little seeds that you know probably won't germinate. Now we're going to take a canning jar and we're just going to put these down inside of a canning jar. Boy, that's not very many at all. I can only use a little jar. Okay, now we're going to fill this up. We're going to fill this up with just a little bit of water. See that? I'm just going to cover this up with a piece of plastic wrap, just like that. Take our screw band lid on here. Screw that on just like that. And we're just going to poke in a couple of air holes. There. Just like that. Now we're going to set this aside for three days. Now when we come back, we're going to wash them and strain them through our strainer one more time and rinse them really really well you'll see it kind of if it starts to have an odor it starts to get mold on it it's definitely been fermented they're definitely done you don't want it to go too far three four five days is plenty in this uh, summer uh, heat even in the house in the air conditioning just set this aside on a cabinet it's fine then rinse them again really well and then put them out on a piece of freezer paper or a piece of newspaper, that's fine. Sit them aside again for two days. And when you're done, you can flake them off and then you can put them in a container like this or in, you know, in market cucumbers with a lid or you can put them in an envelope. An envelope is the best thing. If you, and, then, um, and then that's how you start collecting cucumber seeds, okay? Be sure and label these, the type of cucumbers and the year that you planted them. But try to use good produce off good plants that you know gave you a good crop for the year. That means the genetics of that plant is really good. And see these are nice and dry and they're ready to plant out in my greenhouse. And I can go ahead and start another 
crop, another winter crop in my greenhouse. So seeds that give and keep on giving. And some of these, of course, I'll give away as a pay it forward seeds. Okay? This is Chef and Builder Janie Pendleton with my garden and kitchen tip of the week.